there's nothing wrong with a woman being beautiful, but there is other aspects to her and she can have uh, other angles. There can be days where she doesn't want to dress up, where she can be in overalls and no makeup and that's all right and she can be accepted for that too. Uh, so the multifacetedness of women is all I want to present. Because we see a woman in a bikini, we think we, she, can, she can't talk about feminism. Uh, or, you know, we see a woman in an NGO kurta and she, she's an auntie type, she can't be sexy. So we, we just box women into c categories and I'm saying that a woman can be all these things together. She can be a, a sexy woman, she can be a mother, she can be a daughter, she can be, you know, so many different things. In the last 20 years we've been educating the girl child and women are becoming more and more empowered. Uh, but that mentality remains because they've seen their mothers in the previous generation behave a certain way and now they're seeing the new generation of women behave very differently. So I think it's very much about educating the boy child and making men as well part of this uh, gender equality process, not just um, uh, educating women. We grew up with the idea that a woman can't play football or can't be a scientist or very few women go into those categories uh, and it's nurturing because I remember there was this ad where they made these little five-year-old girls run and they said uh, run like a girl okay and then they told these 16 year old girls to do the same thing and so the five-year-old girls were running like crazy like their heart out and the 16 year old girls were running like la di da you know so they had been taught that this is what it means to run like a girl uh, but if you're not taught that then you know you, you run how you run they want to see the hero uh, you know, rip off his shirt and, and save the helpless damsel in distress. And so while those stories are still continuing, you are going to be a sidekick. You are going to be paid less because you are not the hero of the film. When you see a Piku where Deepika is the hero of the film and Queen where Kangana is the hero of the film, then you can expect wages to start being equal because the concept of equality is, is starting to seep into the storyline itself. It's those little minute things, those, that detailing uh, in your craft, uh, which I find exciting, that you can constantly change the way you walk, change the way you talk, change the way you, you look at people through the windows of, of someone else. And, and it's like an endless psychological study, right? I don't know what it is for every other person, um, what they do in their job. I wouldn't know the details of an accountant's life, okay? But I'm sure that there are a hundred things that they can work on and improve and understand how the market is changing and evolving and evaluating and, and that's research which you do without anybody pushing you. It's when you start doing things without other people pushing you that you push yourself. Uh, when you no longer have a boss or a teacher to tell you what to do um, but you start becoming that person yourself. I think that's how you motivate yourself.